Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number six of the buy and sell series. So today we're going to talk about what was the offer process like? You know, what did, what did it take to get the condo that I'm in right now? So as I mentioned in a previous episode, we actually submitted two offers. Um, the first one we got rejected on and then the second one we got accepted. So the first offer was over in Corktown. Uh, this was a great unit, a two plus den, uh, suited a lot of our criteria. It was like a nine out of 10 on the, uh, on the checklist. It ticked off a lot of boxes, size, um, view, uh, neighborhood, everything. It was really, really good. Um, but the problem was that it was on the market for 75 days, which automatically puts like a red flag up. It's why, you know, average uh, days on market right now for a condo or house is seven to 10 days. And this was 75 days, which is like crazy long. So having looked at that, I knew already that it was probably gonna be overpriced, um, but we went and looked at it anyways. And we said, you know, let's, let's look at the comparables to see what this really should be selling for. Um, so, you know, if it's an 01 unit, you wanna look at other 01 units in the building, cause that's gonna give you your closest comparable cause it's the same layout likely, um, just on a higher or lower floor. So there was actually a sale in the building about three or four months prior um, for the same unit, just on a lower floor that didn't have as good of a view, but it sold for 970. The place that we were looking at was listed for just under 1.1 million. It was a million 98, something like that. So $130,000 difference between the last sale and what they were asking. So a huge discrepancy and we just couldn't see you know, where was this value coming from. Um, but irregardless, we decided to say, you know, let's, let's go forward with an offer. Um, you know, we're gonna take the last sale, add some appreciation, give them a little bit extra and, and see how it goes. And uh, we submitted that offer and they rejected it. And they said, no, nope, we're not gonna sell it for that price. Uh, so we decided to say, you know, let's just wait a week and see if it's still there. And it was. So we actually went back at a higher price, which was above what market value was. But since we were going to be holding that property for 10, 15, 20 years, we knew that we would recuperate it eventually. Um, so it was kind of a, a middle ground of trying to appease him to give him the price that he wanted, but not terribly overpaying for it to the point that, you know, the banks wouldn't even finance the mortgage side of things, which is a real issue. Um, so we gave him that, that better offer of just under a million thirty, and he still rejected it. And he said, no, I'm just gonna rent it out. That's the price I want, and I'm gonna hold on to it until I get that price, and I've got a bunch of investment properties and I don't need to let this go, right? So he was not a motivated seller. So those are kind of the ones that suck to deal with because you could have a great unit that fits a lot of your criteria, but just not a realistic seller that's willing to accept what the marketplace is giving right now. So unfortunately, we had to let that one go and then continue on our search, um, which you can go and check one of the previous episodes to see what was the whole uh, showing process like. And then that brought us to this place um, uh, in, in Regent Park. So this is a uh, two plus den that, again, suit a lot of, uh, fit a lot of our criteria. But um, the reason that we actually didn't look at it initially is because they were holding off on offers. It was listed for $7.99 and holding off on offers, which for this size and for this location, it just, I knew it was way too low. And we just weren't in a position to get into a fight because I had to sell my condo, which would mean I would have to have conditions and all of these things in, which wouldn't make me very competitive in a multiple offer situation. So I initially actually didn't come and even see this place because I said, you know, it's gonna go for way over ask and you know, I, I'm just not in a place to fight, so let's just not go and see it. Um, but they had the offer date and I guess they didn't get the offers that they were expecting in terms of pricing. So uh, I'd actually called the agent because I'd noticed that a couple of days later after the posted offer date that it, it still hadn't been updated as sold. So I, I messaged her saying, hey, is, is the property still for sale? And she said, yeah, we're actually gonna take it off the market tonight and relist it tomorrow at, at the new price, uh, which was 875 which to me was like completely reasonable. I thought that was like, that's right in line with what the market value is. So we went right away and did a showing. And that night we typed up the offer, submitted it, and we had the offer accepted before they could relist it. And this was really great because we could lock in a property. We didn't have to worry about being in competition and we paid you know, fair market value. We didn't have to you know, pay over um, like we would have had to do for the Bayview one. 
So a much, much better offer process. And, you know, it was, it was quite simple. There was just a couple of small signbacks here and there, small changes on the offer. Um, but overall, it was, it was very, very smooth. So that was kind of what brought us uh, to buying this place and, and ultimately settling in this fantastic home that we have now. So that's what happens once you get an accepted offer. But what are the next steps? What comes after you have an accepted offer? And that's actually what we're going to cover in the next episode. So be sure to stay tuned around for that. Uh, subscribe so you can stay updated as soon as it comes out. Every Tuesday and Friday, we've got new releases. But yeah, if you have any questions about what we talked about today, the offer process, how to get there, anything related to the buying and selling process, feel free to leave in the comment section below. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.